Hello everybody, it's me, Ember, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get Solar Rain in Monsters of Etheria. Now, I would advise that you wait until it's night, otherwise you're going to do a whole lot of waiting. Even if you do it at the beginning of the night, you're going to do a lot of waiting. But what you want to do is, you're going to want to head over to Grist Mill over there. I think I might have actually gone the wrong way. Because I think that the vines are actually over here. It's kind of a weird thing that I haven't memorized. Okay, yeah. So you're going to want to go over to these vines right there. And go ahead and climb up. And just like be careful not to fall every time like I do. You don't want to fall. That's kind of just me being dumb. Be aware that there's a jump there and don't overshoot it. Okay. And that's like you're fast enough to overshoot it, no problem. And now you're going to want to go over to this windmill right here. And just... Not do that. Oh my gosh. <sighs> We're fine. We have time. It's night. <laughs> Hi guys. Watch me fail this. Like, repeatedly. Don't over jump it. Go up here. Go up here. Why did I fall off? That was like the most stupid place to fall off. Oh well. Oh, and it, an anti titan spawned, but we just got, like, an exotic one last time. So... That's nice. Oh, there's more barrels. If you want, you can go ahead and open the barrels. You know, you have time, probably. If you don't have time, then don't bother with the barrels. But you do need some of the stuff in the barrels for other stuff. Okay. Now you're going to go ahead and climb up these ropes here. Hopefully not sideways like this. That's kind of annoying. Okay. Up here. So climb up the first rope, and then go over here. And climb up the second a second. And now that you're at the top, you're going to come over here to the balcony, and you're just going to sit here, and basically you're going to wait for day. So, I think that I will unpause whenever it's closer to day. I'll be right back. I just want to let you guys know that I've been watching the moon for like 15 minutes now. It's probably not been that long, but it feels like it's been that long. At least it's really nice because, like, you can see pretty much the entire world from here. Like, this entire map. Because you have, like, the desert over there. And then there's the barn and the forest. Then over there's the jungle and the world tree is somewhere over there. And there's the ocean. And the, like, snow area. The lighthouse. The camp. And then there's that village over there. The volcano's up there. There's the Sakura shrine. The mansion. They're back the desert. It's a nice area. I could see why they have... Like, a quest for watching the sunrise here. It just kind of takes a little bit. Okay, we're waiting. We're just waiting. Still waiting. We'll be waiting a while. You probably won't if you were, like, smarter than I was and didn't go at the very beginning of the night. But it's good to guarantee that you'll get it. Just waiting. With my little frog. He's probably going to evolve before we get to see the sunrise. <laughs> That's all fine. It's very nice and peaceful. Especially when there's like no one here. I wouldn't be surprised if they're like chilling at the experience orb. But I'm here to make guide videos. Oh, you can see that day is starting to break. The moon is setting, and hopefully we'll be able to watch the sunrise soon, and get soda rain. It's a lot of waiting if you don't time it right. I just wanted to guarantee that we'd get it, because I tried to do one video where I was like trying to rush over here just as the sun was beginning to rise, and it was, it was rough. It did not work, obviously. At level 54, we can earn self-destruct, and I could show you how to get Munstorm. See, I'm kind of smart about this. I'm making these videos using the guys I need level up to make more videos. And I could prestige people too. We're just chilling. Oh, that's pretty. Watching the moon fall behind the clock tower. That's nice. Where's the sun? I mean, we can watch the moon. Just watching the moon. 
It's probably the long, well, one of the longest videos in this series. The Snick one is going to be the longest by far because there's so much work they have to do for that. And I don't know if it's even worth it. I'm just saying. Okay, where's the sun? I see the sunrise colors. Where is the sun? Where is the sun? The moon is pretty, though. I'm going to guess the sun's going to rise somewhere over there. I mean, it'd be nice if it rise, well, rose over the ocean. Okay, the moon's still setting. No sign of the sun. I'm not entirely sure where the sun is. You would think that after helping people get this and stuff, I would know. Okay, that's just the weather. Uh, everyone's very quiet. It's very quiet and chill and peaceful, which is great for trying to record these videos. Okay, and now we have still rain. This counts as having watched the sun rise. Uh, still don't know where the sun is, though. But that's how you get soda rain. Now if you go to your monster selection screen, you should be able to find soda rain right over here. Okay. So, there it is. I love this monster. It's a cool deer. Cool electric deer, looks like. I don't know. That's interesting. It spawns right here in the forest. And uh, while we're here, we can actually collect a soda dew drop. Just because we can. So I will see you all in the next video. I have more guides on my channels. If you want to see it. Because I have videos on how to unlock every monster in the game. So I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.